Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Carolina? Mm, I am fine. Yes, very good. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, teacher. That's good, Carolina. Great. Hi, everybody. Hi, Maria. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank Very you. Good. Great. Excellent. All right, so let's see, we have some people here missing. So how are you today? How was your day? What's the worst of the year? It was good, it was bad. <laughs> it was busy, you know what busy means? Something que significa busy? Ocupado. So it was busy? Okay, busy. <laughs> very busy. Okay, <laughs> but it, today it's Tuesday. We're almost hitting the middle, the middle of the week. Ya casi es miércoles. We're done again. <laughs> so good. Hi, Jorge. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Jorge. How are you? Fine, thanks. Great. How was your day? Uh, um, so heavy. Heavy? Okay. Heavy, heavy. A lot of work? Yes? Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah, it's Tuesday, so we're starting the week. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Eh, lo mejor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy. Yeah, in your case, because Every, you, you uh, work at La Calaca, mom. right? Yes. So we, I think that... The transito. So to, right now, Al, it's like the high season, right? Al, Al, yes. The this high mouth, This mouth and the next... November is, and uh, December. November and December. So I this think... week, especially, mm -hmm. um, is a, a, a heavy weekend. What? In, why? Because it's the end of the month. The um, um the word. Uh, for the promos of Black Friday. Oh, every place. Um, there's no, no exceptions. So, the, the will you have uh, uh, promotions this this weekend? Yes. Okay. Every every years. So, what will be the promotions for this for this weekend? Um, not remember that exactly, but every years. Um, we have the, um, masa. Masa, the tortilla. It's, a. Uh, I remember it's butter. The black taco. The black taco. <laughs> the, the black taco. <laughs> black taco, exactly. <laughs> Literal. That's the name, the black taco? Yes. yes. Oh, that's good. Let's see, masa. All, the masa masa negra. All the products All the with black. Oh, yes. really? Yes. Yeah. I didn't know that. So, <laughs> so the burritos and quesadillas and everything is black? Tacos oh, that's... and... Oh, that's All good. The, the, um, 
corn. Uh -huh. mm. Tortilla de maíz. <laughs> no sé Tortilla cómo de maíz. No sé yeah. cómo se no. dice. <laughs> Yeah, con, tortilla yo, corn. Pero, todo lo que lleva tortilla de maíz. Uh -huh. <laughs> but they do not put like colorant. Es de verdad maíz negro. What, yes. what do you use? Oh. Yes. So it's complicated to, to get those things. Wow. So yeah, I imagine it's going to be a complicated uh, week. Sí. So. Sí, <laughs> Heavy, heavy. Yeah, definitely heavy. heavy. <laughs> All right, very good. So uh, welcome everybody to this uh, new class. This is our uh, sixth class today. And we're going to do um, a little exercise first so we can start. Uh, have you ever played something called uh, like a true or false? ¿Alguna vez han jugado algo que se llama true or false? Sí. Yes. No? Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. Very good. So this is what we are going to play right now. Uh, using the verb be, we're going to make three sentences. Uh, it could be the verb be, or if you, do, if you can do it in simple present, it's fine too. Vamos a hacer tres eh, oraciones where two of them uh, are going to be false, I'm sorry, are going to be uh, true, and one of them is going to be false, okay? So two of them will be true and one it's, is false. I, let me fix this here, let us see. True, and one of them is false. And then you will say it to your group. We're going to make groups. You're going to say it to your groups. And the team members of your groups are going to guess which is the, the false and which is the true. For example, I have here uh, my three sentences. Um, I work in a call center. I am 32 years old. And I am a father. So which do you think it's true? And which do you think it's false? ¿Cuál creen que es verdadero y cuál creen que es falso? Mm. La primera, I work in a call center. La segunda, I am 32 years old and I'm a father. The first mm -hmm. is false. Okay, the first is false. I work in a call center is false. What do you think? Um... I am 32 years old. That's true or false? It's false. It's false. It's fa yes. Okay. That was those. I work in a call center, I think it's false. I am 32 years old, I think it's false. Hmm. What do you think? ¿Qué piensa el resto? Any thoughts? What about number three? I am a father. Do you think it's true or false? True. Okay. The first and the first in false and second and third is true. Okay, the second one is true. Yes. Okay, very good. So uh, actually the first one, la primera, it's true. I work in a call ah, center. Sorry. <laughs> I work in a call center, that's true. Uh, the third one, I'm a father, that's true too. I'm a father. And I'm 32 years old, that's false. <laughs> I'm not 32 oh, years old. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's right. How old do you think I am? ¿Cuántos años creen que uh, tengo? Um, sí. 
Creo que lo dije un día, pero no, I no, I no remember. Okay, that's fine. Make a guess. Adivine. Ay. <laughs> Uh, 30, no. Um, very high. Um, I know. <laughs> no, no, I am 29. Almost 30, 39. Estoy en 29. Okay, so, sorry. <laughs> I know, but I look like 35, so no worries. <laughs> Okay, so that's what you're going to do. Eso es lo que ustedes van a hacer. Van a hacer las tres sentences about you. Two of them tienen que ser eh, false y una de ellas tiene que ser true. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, al revés. Two of them tienen que ser true and one of them tiene que ser false. All right? So, are you ready? ¿Ya hicieron sus sentences? No, no. Okay. So let's make your sentences here. Eh, let me give you two minutes. Le voy a dar dos minutos para que hagan sus oraciones. Recuerden que tienen que ser dos eh, true y una false. Ready? Okay. Yeah. All right. So let me go ahead and do the, the groups right now. Vamos a hacer los grupos. En los grupos ustedes van a decir las oraciones y tienen que adivinar cuál es true y cuál es false. Okay. Let me need the groups here. Okay, there we go. Let them join ahí en su en la invite que les mandé para que puedan ingresar al, al grupo. Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. please send me the sign up to enter the group, please. Sure. Let me send it right now. Okay, there you have. Thank you. Sure. I work I work in a self person is true or false or false or false. Uh -huh. Perdón, excuse. True or false. Or false. Uh -huh. False. Or false. Uh -huh. um, I am um, no. fixing. 
Uh, mm -hmm. Answer answer the question to her. Que... Uh, uh, she said that she is a salesperson. Is it true or false? Es verdad o es false? Eh, I don't understand. Me, I, me confundí. Ok. Eh, vaya, lo que estamos haciendo uh -huh. ahorita es de que Stephanie va a decir tres oraciones uh -huh. y usted tiene que adivinar y si es true, si es verdad o si es false, si es mentira. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. ok. Entonces ella dijo la primera. Diga la primera de nuevo, Stephanie. I work in a salesperson. Is true or false? Is false. Is correct. Mm. Teacher, uh -huh. eh, ahí, ajá, eso sí o, o al final o, o le doy la sala correcta, no sé cómo. Eh, sí, puede ¿Cómo decirle sería? como sí, es sí, correcto. A la vez. Ajá, uh -huh. Ah, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> Perdón, vaya otra vez. <laughs> I work in a self person. Okay, I work is true or as, false? I work as. I work a, a. as a self person. Yo trabajo como vendedora. Uh, ah, ok. I work as. ¿Ah? A self person. Uh -huh. I work as a self person. Very good. Self person. Uh -huh. is, is true or false? Is true. True. Is true. Okay, that's correct. Very good. Okay. And the second sentence is uh -huh. I am mother. Is true or false? Mm, it's true. No. My, no. Uh, it's, it's incorrect. It's, it's incorrect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. False. Uh, um, no worries. No worries. <laughs> um, Thanks. As I am. <laughs> Teacher, how do you say 23? Uh, 23. 23. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I am 23 years old. True. My answer, my answer is true. Is correct? Yes. Yes, okay. that's correct. Very good. Now you, Ronald, make the, make the sentences for Stephanie. Okay. My sentence art. I am 15 years old. Is true or false? 15 or 50? 15. 15, okay. Uh -huh. Um false. Is correct. <laughs> <laughs> the second sentence is I am reading English. I am reading. English. Say it again. I am. I am reading. I am reading. English. Yo estoy leyendo inglés. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm, true. It's correct. Okay. The three sentence is I I am meet in class in classroom of English. Can you say one more time? Or Pero, ¿cómo? I am I am um, meeting in classroom of English is correct. ¿Qué, qué, es lo, qué, ¿Qué es lo que, lo que quiere decir? Yo estoy... Ajá. Yo estoy en, en reunión de inglés, en clases de inglés. Oh, ok. Oh, ok. Ok. okay. It's true. So, it will be, I am... I am... In... 
in uh, English um, classes? Uh, I am English in class. I am in? I am in? English classes. English class. Mm -hmm. Is true or false? Is true. Is it correct? Very good. So keep practicing. Okay. You, yes. you, didn't, uh, you didn't study that. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't no, know. No. Um, uh, no sé. Quizás suerte ahí. Ahí llegué por suerte. <laughs> Pero sí, I started cooking. Oh, That's really? True. Oh. You study what? Okay. Cooking? Oh, Cooking. really? Yes. Yes. So you're a chef. On the weekend, yes. uh, he gave us uh, many de uh, desserts and cocktails, uh, shrimp cocktails. Really? Very, very delicious. Great. Yes. Uh, this, this is a co worker. This is a co worker, my friend. Uh. <laughs> That's good. And where but, do you study? But I, but I, I, uh, yes, I, I, um, <laughs> I can, I, I, I can cooking. No, but did you study cooking? Um, no. Uh, no. Oh. This. Uh, um, he practiced the cook. Okay. Yes, but yes, but uh, I don't finish it. Oh, okay. Don't finish. Don't finish. So you started. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And and where were you studying? Um, Alinea. That's the name of the of the academy. Alinea. Yes. Alinea. Pero que ya no está, pero. Oh, okay. Pero así llamaba. That's good. Great. Yes. But you learned something. Okay. Jorge, mañana me llena solicitud. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, okay. did you say the sentence already? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's um, see. Third. The first. First. Um, I like coffee. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, your turn. Okay, I'm going to tell you uh, to tell you my sentences. Okay. okay. The, fir the first one, uh, my cats love me so much. Um, that's true. Yes. Have, uh, that's... I have two cats. Yeah, two. Yes, and they love me so much. Okay. I know. <laughs> um, yes, yes. I have a. I am a doctor. Um, false. Yes. And, uh, I, I was wondering. I was waiting for the answer. Okay, <laughs> okay. Is she a doctor? Really? What? The... And the third one is I have a lot of work at the office. That's true. <laughs> yes. That's true. All of us have a lot of work at the. <laughs> I think uh, all. <laughs> yeah. Yes, all of us. All of I know us. it. Okay, that's my work today, <laughs> my exercises. Okay. Do you have a, another sentence, Jorge? Um. Okay. Um. I have uh. Many, many verbs. Verbs? Verbs? Like verbos? No. Birds, ah, no. Birds, birds. Oh, birds. 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 Oh, birds. Birds. Oh, okay. Okay. Birds. Really? Parrots? <laughs> Dogs? That's true. Mm. 
Which one of them? Um, tomorrow I, I take a picture. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> sí, ahorita ya están dormidos. Ah, but uh, which one of them? Uh, are they parrots or doves or, or what? What uh, kind of birds? Mm -hmm. What kind? Parrot. Um, mm -hmm. um, Australian. What? Yeah, Australian. Australians and um, um, bueno, hay de dos, pero el otro, pues no recuerdo el nombre, son más chiquitos. All right, very good. So keep practicing there. I'm gonna join to another group. So very good okay. job. Okay. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hi. You finished? Yes. Yes. Okay. Can I hear some of the sentences? Uh, comience usted, María. Okay. <laughs> I work. <laughs> okay. I work in a fabric. I am forty-eight year old. I am a mother. Huh? Darling. What are the, the false and what is the true? The first and second is true. Ah, no. Pero... <laughs> no. The first and three is true. The second is false. Mm -mm. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, say, say it again, Maria. The first is I, I work in a fabric. In a factory. In, in a factory. Okay. Is false. Mm -hmm. The first is false. Is false. Second mm -hmm. and three is true. Yeah. Yeah. Very Bye. good. Now you, darling. I am studying medicine. Mm -hmm. I am 26 years old. And I am tiny year. I am what? Tiny year. Tiny year. Mm -hmm. What's what's tiny year? A teenager. Uh, ah, uh -huh. teenager. Okay. <laughs> teenager. Uh -huh. teenager. Teenager. Okay. Uh, the two is is four. Two is five. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not twenty six years old. Uh, I am twenty two years old. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Good job. All right. So we're gonna go back to the main room. So let. Okay. Go there, just let me. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay, so let's check the topic for today. All right, so what we're going to see today is this. We're going to keep seeing the verb to be. However, we're going to say, we're going to make now the yes, no questions um, for the verb be. So this is basically uh, a yes, no question is, como decir, una pregunta cerrada, where you can answer either yes or no. Okay, esas son las únicas dos respuestas que, que vamos a dar. Obviamente le podemos agregar más información a la respuesta, pero la principal respuesta va a ser yes or no. Okay. And we have an example here. Are you an actor? Eres un actor. And then the answer is yes, I am. O no, I am. 
No, I'm not, exactly. So that's the way we're going to use and make yes, no questions, okay? Uh, and here we're gonna see some examples on how we can do it. And this is the structure that we are going to use. Uh, verb B plus subject plus complement and the question mark. So vamos a utilizar acá el verbo to be. Luego vamos a utilizar el sujeto. Y por último vamos a poner un complemento. Siempre agregando el question mark. El signo de interrogación. Okay. So uh, the example we had before. It was are you uh, an actor? Then the answer could be yes I am. O no I am not. Ok, so let's think about right now, hagamos tres preguntas. Tres preguntas, any random questions, eh, utilizando el verbo to be y que sean yes, no questions. Ok, tres preguntas, hagamos tres preguntas ahorita, si pueden escribirlas en sus cuadernos, si tienen un cuaderno ahí o si no, solamente piensen en ellas. Uh, three questions, con yes, no questions. Okay. Utilicen esa estructura que está acá. Primero va a ir el verbo to be, que son am, is, o are. Luego va el subject, el sujeto, que puede ser I, you, he, she, it, we, you, o they, o el nombre de una persona, eh, o cosa, y el complemento. Y por último, el signo de interrogación. Okay. So let me give you uh, two minutes. So you can do those questions. Let me know once you have finished. Teacher, yes. Excuse me. Repeat. Subject. Yes. Eh, subject es sujeto. Los que podemos utilizar ahí son I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. O el nombre de alguna persona. Oh. Thank you. Sure. Let me know once you have finished. Una vez terminen, eh, si quieren denle ahí en su, uh, alzar la mano o levantar la mano para yo saber que ya terminaron. I got ready. All right. Very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Please let me know una vez hayan terminado. Okay. Thank you, Stephanie. Okay, thank you, darling. Thank you, Franklin. Thank you, Daniela. Thank you, David. Thank you, Maria.
Okay, so let's hear some of the questions that you have made. Uh, let's see. Mm, okay, let's have here. I don't remember your, let me remember your name. Mm, you're Martha, right? Martha. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, the first one, uh, are you a Boy Scout? Okay. The other one is, is Jorge Campo my, Jorge Campo my co-worker? Very good. Uh, the, and the last, is our English teacher very kind? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Excellent. Great okay, question. Martha. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Let's see now, Stephanie. Um, she is sleeping in your bed. And one more time. And she, she is the sleeping in your bed. Okay. En esa pregunta tenemos que cambiar algo. Um, sí, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, ¿qué cree que hay que cambiar en esa pregunta? Um, and the, ¿El qué? The. <laughs> ¿Es sleeping? No. 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 Hagamos, vamos a la estructura y vamos parte por parte. Primero tiene que ir el verb. Okay. ¿Cuál es el verb B en esa oración? Uh, she? Uh, no. no. She is el subject. Ah, ok. Entonces sería... Uh, you're sleeping. No. no. ¿Cuál es el verbo no. to be para she? She... He... Is. It... It's is. Uh, it's she. Uh -huh. Is sleeping. Is she? It's she. The sleeping. Okay. Is she sleeping? Yes. That's correct. And... See. Yes. Yep. Another question. Yes. Are. Are you are the teacher? Okay. Are you? Are you? The teacher? Ah, uh, okay. Are you the teacher? Good. And the other one? No. So, Just no. Two. Sí. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right. That's fine. No worries. Darling. Uh, the first is... Are you married? Very good. And the second is, are you single? Very good. Do you have another uh, one? The three is, are you a teacher? Very good. Excellent. Good job, darling. And let's see one more, uh, Daniela. Okay. Um, the first, it's, are you a new caster? A new? New caster? Uh, presentador de noticias? Oh, hoster. Oh, okay. Uh, hoster. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. And Jessica, it's uh, 27 years old. Mm, reformulemos ahí la pregunta. Ay, Jessica, it's... 20 years old. Okay. 27 years old. Okay. En esa oración, si nos vamos para la estructura de la pregunta, primero va el verb be. ¿Cuál es el verb be en esa oración? Is. Is. He is. Eh, no, is. just is. Solo is. Is. Okay. Ajá. Luego le sigue el subject. ¿Cuál es el subject ahí? Jessica. Ajá. Entonces, is Jessica, and then? It's 27 years old. 
Okay. Is Jessica 27 years old? It's I, Jessica. It's 20. No, solamente is Jessica 27 years old? Haga la pregunta de nuevo. Okay. It's just, no, it's Jessica. Uh -huh. It's Jessica. It's Jessica, 27 years old. Very good. That's correct. Is Jessica 27 years old? That's correct. Very good. Uh, third is, are you the teacher? Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Daniela. So that's basically how we make the, the, the sentences uh, with questions, with yes, no questions. Now, in order for we can answer them, we can answer them either in positive way or we can, um, or we can put it into a negative one. So uh, in the negative form, this is the way we do it. We put a subject, I, you, he, she, it, we, or they, of un nombre. Luego ponemos the verb be, am, is, or are, not. Y por último, el complemento. Entonces, para any questions we have, for example, are you the teacher? Then you can answer, yes, I am. Or no, I am not. I am a student. Ok, cuando dice no, entonces da la respuesta de qué es lo que ustedes. Por ejemplo, if I made the question to Jorge. Jorge, are you an actor? No, I'm not. Very good. Eh, Martha, are you a teacher? No, I'm not a teacher. Very good. Excellent. And that's how we how we answer the questions. So let's see, for example, uh, the question, uh, Maria, can you make one of your questions to Jessica? Okay. Um, are you are you a boy? Okay, Jessica. Jessica, are you there? No, I'm not. Very good. Excellent. So then you provide the rest of the information. Luego dice la información completa. No, I'm not. I am. No, I am. Ah, perdón. Ajá. No, I'm not. I am a boy. I am. Uh, I am. A girl. A girl. Uh -huh. Porque está porque le, le está preguntando, are you a boy? Se dice, no, I'm not. I am a girl. Se está preguntando, okay. eres un chico? Se dice, no, no lo soy. Yo soy una chica. Okay. Okay. Right. Ahora, Jessica, can you make a question, one of your questions to Ronald? Sorry. Is uh, yeah. creo que Jessica va a hacer la pregunta ahorita para que para que usted conteste ok uh -huh. Jessica haga una de sus preguntas de las que hizo de, para el ejercicio ok uh -huh. eh, I am 25 years old ok eso tiene que ser en pregunta. 
es el you el you el you no. Sony, no. no, la pregunta que tendría que hacer Jessica tendría que, eh, si ella dice I am 27 years old, entonces tendría que hacer la pregunta. Esa, esa, esa oración tendría que ser pregunta. Para hacer la pregunta, Jessica tiene que comenzar con el verbo to be. El cambio. ¿Cuál sería el verbo to be ahí, Jessica? Mm. O oh, am. Um. Mm -hmm. Tendría que ser am. Am. I. Am. I. Y luego va el sujeto. ¿Qué sería? Ah, I. I. Exactly. And then the complement. Am um, I. 27 years old. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. um, five years old. Ok. Haga la pregunta de nuevo, Jessica. Ok. Am. Um, I. M. I. M. I. Ajá. Um, 25 years old. Very good. Ahora contesta la pregunta, Ronald. I am 25 years old. No, porque Jessica se está preguntando para ella. Le está preguntando a usted. Am I 25 years old? Tengo 25 años. En I 20 years old. 25 years old. No, porque ahí le está preguntando Jessica de ella. Jessica le está preguntando, Am I 25 years old? Tengo 25 años. Entonces usted tiene que contestar, eh, Yes, eh, you are, o no, you are not. De que sí, tú tienes 25 años o no, no tienes 25 años. Ah, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces, eh, le... Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, yes, you are 25 okay. years old. Very good. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you, Ronald. Okay. Excellent. Very good. So, and that's the way we make the... the the questions and that's the way we answer them. Así como hacemos las preguntas y de esa forma es como las eh, contestamos también. So, we're going to do an exercise here uh, where we're going to practice the negative statements. Aquí vamos a practicar negative statements and what you are going to do is this. Tienen una oración en positivo here and then tienen que hacer una oración en negativo. For example, we have I am hungry but Steve is not hungry. En este caso, tendría que ser eh, Sara is late, but I am not late. Sara está, está tarde o va tarde, pero yo no estoy tarde. Entonces, la oración que vamos a hacer aquí a la par de cada uno de estos va a ser una oración en negativo utilizando el sujeto que ya está al inicio de cada oración. Ok. So you have five minutes to do it. And then we're going to check the answers. Ok. So let's do it.
So let me know once you have finished. Acuérdense que para las negativas tienen que utilizar sujeto, verbo to be, luego not y por último el complemento. Ok. Así como el ejemplo acá, I am hungry, but Steve is not hungry. Sara is late, but I am not late. You still have two more minutes. Okay, almost finished. ¿Ya casi terminaron? Six moment, teacher. Okay. All right, so let's make the sentences together so we can be seeing uh, each of the exercises. So let's start with the number uh, three. Uh, who wants to make number three? Anybody? Hi. Okay, go Maria, number three. Number three is I am not at home. Uh, no, number three. Three. Ah, no, per perdón. Es... Lions. Tengo que, ah, lo tengo que leer todo, perdón. <laughs> Lions are dangerous, but rabbit uh -huh. are not dangerous. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Maria. Then number four. Carolina. If for my friend it's at home, but I mm -hmm. um, not friend, it's not home. Okay, my friend is at home, but I. Después de I, ¿qué va? ¿Se recuerda? I am. Uh -huh. Para hacerlo uh -huh. negativo. 
Not on. Ajá. Very, very good. Dígalo de nuevo. My friend is at home. Mm -hmm. But at. But I, I am. But at I. Mm -hmm. I am home. I am not. I am not home. At home. I am not home. At home. I am not at home. Very good. Excellent. My friend is at home, but I am not at home. Good. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Ronald, number five. Five. Uh, winter is cold, but summer is not cold. Very good. Great. Excellent. Jorge. Thank you. Number six. Uh, number six. Paris is located in France, but Rome uh, is not. It's located in Italy. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Jessica. Number seven. Jessica? Okay, uh, Marta, number seven. Uh, number seven, these cookies are delicious, but those cookies are not delicious. Excellent, great. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Marta. Okay, you're welcome. Darling, number uh, eight. Uh, the books are on the table, but the computer are not on the table. The computer are not? On the table. Uh -huh. Are? Tengo que completarla. Huh? Tengo que agregarle algo más. Os... Eh, solamente el verbo to be. Si estamos utilizando the computer, ¿cuál es el verbo to be que no diría que ir ahí? Am, um, is, or are. ¿Cuál tendría que ir de computer? Am, um, is, or are. ¿Cuál tendría que ir ahí, darle? R. R? Are you sure? Yes. No. Is. Are they? It. Uh, no. Is. No, no. Is. Is. Okay. It's. Porque es singular y es solo una computadora. Entonces, the books ah. are on the table, but the computer is not on the table. Teacher, lo siento, se me fue el inter. Hasta ahorita me puedo integrar a la clase. No worries, no worries, está bien, no hay problema. Pero escuchó la, cuál era la respuesta. Ahorita sí. Ah, sí. Chivo. Entonces, tiene que ser: the computer is not. Is, is not okay. the table. Good. Excellent. Thank you, darling. Number nine. The eh, T. Stephanie. I am 20 years old, but you, um, you are, uh -huh. you are not, mm -hmm. he's 29 years old. Very good. Excellent. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> good, Stephanie. Good. All right. Franklin, number 10. His name is Omar. Omar, but my name is not Omar. Excellent. Thank you, Franklin. Thank you. And David, 11. Uh, 
David? Wait, wait. Uh, my place. ¿Cómo se diría eso? Uh, my classmate. Yes. My classmate is sick. What is? But I. But what I. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. My, my classmate is sick with ice. Ajá, but I. Aquí tiene que ser la oración en negativo. So my classmate is sick, but I. Um, but she is not. No, aquí después del I tiene que utilizar el verbo to be. ¿Cuál es el verbo to be que utilizamos con I? Um. Exacto. Entonces, I am, y luego para negativo. Not. Uh -huh. I, I am, am not. not. Placement. No, sick. Ah, sick. Uh -huh. Ahora dígale de nuevo. My placement, my placement is sick, but I am not sick. Excellent. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. So, so that was it. This was the class for today. Uh, thank you very much for joining. Uh, I don't know if you have any questions so far. Preguntas al momento. No. Okay. Very good. Great. So we're going to see tomorrow then. Have a good night. And uh, please take a good rest. Okay. Descansen y nos vemos mañana. Take care, everybody. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Take care. Good night.